Okay. I am online now, so it's going to take a minute for everyone to be able to <coughs> connect up and see me. But I am online now. As usual, we're going to wait, you know, for just a minute for that number right over there to change, as per the norm. And once everyone's online and is able to hear me, please mention in the chat that you can see me and all that other good stuff. <clears throat> Welcome, Doc. <clears throat> all right. So, yeah, once, once everyone's able to actually see me and can hear me, there's always a little bit of a delay, like 15 or 20 seconds, something like that. So we'll see how this goes. But I do have the chat popped up in my other my other window over here, so. Let me get my notes out from from looking over the uh, armors initially. Make sure I have those in front of me. Or at least nearby. I can hear you. Okay, good. Video isn't as good looking as me. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right, good. All right, so I'm just going to give it a minute for this to change because it doesn't reflect right away that there's people online viewing and everything. So I'll just give that a second to change to something other than a zero and we'll get started. Not as good looking as you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, not everybody can be, of course. That's obvious. Welcome, welcome. All right, hopefully that changes here in just a second. If it doesn't, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I know I have at least a couple people on right now. Maybe more. And if I sound a little uh, froggy in my throat, it's because we have some pretty awful air out here from uh, all the fires that are burning on the West Coast. It's all blowing in to where we are here in Utah. And it's just making the air awful, and so I'm just I'm kind of stuffed up and have kind of a raw throat, so I might be sniffling a bit or that sort of thing, just because it's the air quality's garbage here. So I'm just trying to stay in, so I'm not in that crap all the time. Welcome, GDL Belgian. All right, we have a number. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So as usual, I'm gonna start with the bosses. Um, and I have that on the wrong screen. So this is a new boss, as you can see. It's a, like kind of a, a pumpkin-looking dude. So this head right here is probably going to be right there. So this is most likely going to be water and fire, just based on the color scheme. Um, but it's a Halloween armor, Halloween-themed armor. It, actually, it could be water air, but we'll see that in a minute. We'll see which armor goes with it. But there's one of the two, and there's the other one. Um, that is a reused boss, which is pretty normal, pretty common. Um, this one is, I think it's, originally it was earth and air. I think it might be different looking, a bit more like water fire, actually, with that bit right there. But again, we'll see in a minute. So there's the two bosses. So we have this pumpkin looking dude, and then the tree looking dude, which is, that's a reused boss. So that's number three. So that's boss two. And image two is boss one. Okay, there we go. Let me move those two guys <clears throat> into my folder here. So I already have that done. Okay, now getting into the armors, there are a total of, I believe it's 12 armors in the files, which normally you'd have just 10. <coughs> Excuse me, you'd have like 9 or 10, something like that. Um, I had a fire 400 acres on the edge. Holy cow. I had no idea it was that close to you. Yeah, I have a few friends who are in Oregon who are, who are surrounded by flames, people in California that are surrounded by flames. It's pretty awful. Pretty much the whole western coast, except for like kind of in the Seattle sort of area in Northern Oregon, pretty much all of it's just, just getting destroyed. Um, I know that there's fires up there too, but <clears throat> it's just been kind of everywhere. Okay, so first things first, this is our first reskin. I think there's three or maybe four in here, so we're, there's, a, there's a few this time around, but there are 12 armors in total. So this one um, was the Sage Master's Resolve originally. Um, it was, it was uh, made earth and spirit, even though it looked clearly uh, water and air. This time it actually is water and air, so it's kind of more matching the elements of the uh, look of the armor. So that's armor one, water, air, and that is, I believe, the male, looks like it. And that is our first raid armor. So this is the tree boss I was talking about. This one was the Treekin Shaman originally. 
I think it was air and earth, or earth and air, one of the two. So it's water and fire this time. Um, it doesn't look really distinctly different to me compared to the last one we had, which was, I th think it was uh, earth and spirit, I think, was the last version of this one. So this one is our raid armor. This is the first of the two raid armors. So this is water, fire. And that one I'm pretty sure is male. <clears throat> and that's the female version of the one we already looked at. This one up here at the top, the Sage Master's reskin. So that's the female. <clears throat> okay, and this one is the raid armor, which I believe this is a combo reskin, um, meaning it's a combination of a few different armors kind of mashed together. But this one is, uh, my zoom on my mouse is not working again. I hate when it does this. Um, but it has a different head. It's similar to some, you know, some heads we've seen, but the armor itself is reused, um, and the weapon is also, has also been used before in the past, if you look right here. I remember seeing that armor, or that weapon before, <clears throat> but, um, the weapon, the armor is definitely reused. They just put this kind of, um, pumpkin head sort of looking there, and then also on here. So this is the raid armor, so it is actually water and air, um, and that one is the male, so this is armor... Did I do that, really? I did. <laughs> uh, water, air. I named the one above it Armor 1. It's Armor 2. <laughs> Not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. And this, my friends, is the Water and Water exclusive. It looks very much like kind of like a pirate with like a pirate sort of tri-cut hat on. Or what they call them, tri-cut. I, the, I think the right name. But it looks like a pirate with this massive like sword, kind of like a cutlass. But that's our dual water right there. That's our dual water exclusive. So you've already seen it, and we're only like six minutes in. <laughs> so armor four is the dual water. If I can type today, that would be useful. That's the dual water exclusive. And then we go back to the Sage Master's Resolve. I think that's the female. One step down from Ascension. And there's the male. Again, it's, it's one step down from Ascension as well. And this is another new armor. Uh, this is water and fire, so I'm thinking this is probably going to be our fusion armor, because I believe fusion is water fire, if memory serves. Um, so this is our fusion armor, most likely. And I think that's male. Yeah, it looks like male. Water fire. So looking over the armors, um, we have two water earths. We have two water spirits. One, two, three water airs. One, two, three, four water fires. And we'll get to those in just a minute. And of course our dual water exclusive. So there we go. So this is the, uh, again, I'm pretty sure this is going to be our fusion armor. And there's the female version of the same thing. That makes it easy. All right. And there's the step down from ascension on the water and air raid armor, which is number three. And there's the female of the same one, but ascended. And there's the step down from ascension on the male for the water and fire raid armor. Whoops, wrong one. And there's the ascended version, female. And there is the base, I believe that's male. Looks like male. I could be wrong. Let me look and see really quick if there's another one right away. I'm jumping through armors. Don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> just kidding. Um, trying to find the... Uh, I'm just a, uh, uh, there's the, there it is. That's not the one I was looking for, though. Okay, screw it. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could find the other one so I could compare the, the, the breastplate, but I'm pretty sure that's the male. That's the male base of that one. And this is one of the two armors that are water and fire. This is going to be um, some kind of Halloween event. I'm not sure exactly what's involved with it. Um, but this is one of the two. This is the, the golden version. And this is also water and fire. So this is armor six. And by the way, I did have to actually go through, I actually had to find, there were, I think, four separate packs of data. The first two were almost identical, except for some slight changes in some of the art. Um, the third was almost complete, and I had to get the fourth before I got all of the data in it. So the, I think the third version had 11 armors, and only enough rings and amulet sets for 10. This one has all 12 with the ring and amulet sets in it. So I had to wait until I got the fourth version, quote-unquote, of the data, before I got a complete set of everything. So this one, again, is the water and fire, some kind of event. Um, I like the look of it, honestly. That right there, let me zoom in. I have to manually zoom because my mouse is being stupid. That's the head right there. And the shield has this, like, cross and a skull at the top of it, and the blade looks like kind of cross-shaped, etc., etc. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right, so let's move on to the next one. 
This one is probably going to upset a lot of people. Um, I already contacted DECA about it. I'm not sure if they're going to keep it. But this is the Dual Fire Exclusive, reskinned as Water Spirit. I mean, I like the look of it, but it was originally Dual Fire. And it's a reskin of an exclusive, which I didn't think they were going to be doing. But of course, I could be wrong. They've reskinned, you know, exclusive has, has been reskinned from other armors. But I didn't know if they were going to do reskins of the exclusives themselves into other armors or into other elements. But this is the dual fire, identical in every way except the color scheme and the elements. So, I don't know. They didn't say anything specifically like, yeah, we're going to remove it or anything. I just pointed it out and said, hey, is this intended? I don't know if you wanted to do this or not. But, yeah, so this one is water and spirit. So this is armor 7. And I'm pretty sure that is male. But I will check, of course. There's the dual water. That's the female version. This is water and spirit number 2. Um, I think they have... Um, I kind of sort of got verification. They do actually... They are using some different art teams on this. It's not the same original people. They kind of apparently use other people here and there. Which is why some of the armors look a little different. Um, they kind of have a different sort of feel to them. Like this one looks different than the other ones, along with the water and fire we saw earlier that I think is the fusion. This is water and spirit number two. Um, so they do look a little... They look a little more retro because they actually are from a team that used to do armor designs before. So they are kind of more retro for a reason. So this is the non-golden, the regular version. Um, so it's the same armor in every way, same ring and amulet set, same all the same stuff. But this is the regular version of it. So this is armor 9, water fire, and that is male, I'm pretty sure. Yep, looks like it. Oops, I totally named that wrong. I typo. There we go. Yeah, regular and gold, yep. And there is our female of the water and air raid armor, one step down from ascension. <clears throat> and here's another new one. This is water and air. That's it, yeah, it's, it's some of the some of the version, like the regular versus the golden, it's it's kind of more of a, a taste thing. I just I prefer the golden one myself, but you know, your mileage may vary. Um, this one is water and air. This is our second water and air. Um or excuse me, third water and air, because there's actually another one up here. It's the, the raid armor plus the very first one. So this is our third water and air, number number 10. And I'm pretty sure that's male, it looks like it. <clears throat> and here's the first of our water and earth. My favorite armors a lot a lot of the time are actually water and earth armors. This one, not so much. It looks like a fish. Um, it has like the fins coming off the top of the head and the weapon has like a fin shape to it. It's, I mean, it's cool looking, don't get me wrong, but I'm just not a big, a big fan of this one in particular. Um, the other one I like better, the other water and uh, earth. The other water and earth I like better. Yeah, some of these are the new art team. Some of them are the people they've been normally using, um, which I think a lot of the time... Um, uh, this is guessing on my part, but I think a lot of the ones that are just reskins are the old the old art team that have been doing it for a while. Um, and they're using some new people to do some of the older, like, kind of the more retro looks. Um, but this is, again, that wa that water, or the dual fire exclusive that's been reskinned as Water Spirit, which is that one right there. But this is the female version. And then we have the base of the water and fire raid armor, male version, the base of that one. And then we have the step down from ascension of the female of the same armor. And then we have the golden. This is a step down from ascension on the male. And I think that's this one here. Yeah. There's a lot of them, so I have to double check and make sure I'm not screwing myself up. There are um, three water fires and three water airs. There's our water and fire fusion, which is the one up here at the top, I think. Nope, not that one. I misclicked. I wanted the one below it. Right there. Nope, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Again, there's a lot of them, so I'm double-checking. And I think I marked that one as female, did I? Oh, because I got the female right after. That's right. Never mind. Okay. So this is male, but one step down from Ascension. And this is the Water and Earth that I like better. Um, I just like the look of this one, kind of in general, because it has more of a standard-looking sword. The shield has these kind of still fins, because it's still a water-based armor. But it just I like the look of it. I think it's cooler looking. So that's our Water and Air number 12. That's our 12th armor there. And that one is male. Okay, so that's all the armors. Now I just got to finish up sorting. Okay, so water and spirit, that's this one here. Yeah. And I just realized I named that one Evo 3. <laughs> Duh. That's not even close. Yeah, I named those all wrong. That one is, hang on, I got to fix this really quick before I move on. 
Yeah, that's that's Evo one. I named that one wrong. <laughs> there we go, fixed. Okay, so this is water and spirit right here, I think. Yes. Just making sure again I've got the right one, and that is the male version, but one step down. How long does it take for me to put the on the bot and on Discord? Um, once I finish the live stream, usually just a matter of a couple of minutes. Um, it's usually really quick. It's like I basically just save the final the final version of it, and then I upload it to KND Bot and I throw it on Discord shortly thereafter. I usually share it in a few line chats as well, but it's usually up there with just within five, maybe ten minutes at most. I added a command for it actually. Um, the day I got the initial uh, I got the initial files. Um, I put in there coming soon, and apparently somebody uh, in a chat, I can't remember who it was that sent it to me, but somebody in one of their chats, uh, like a social chat of some kind, posted a screenshot of them typing in S51 data mine and it saying coming soon, and they typed it like 20 times. And the person that sent it to me just said, hey, you do know that there's a person behind that, right? There's a person that actually does that, and you spamming it over and over again isn't going to speed that process up. <laughs> apparently he wasn't very... Uh, wasn't very well that wasn't very well received he didn't like that very much <laughs> but he's like well seriously dude there's a person that actually creates that it's not just going to automatically appear because you keep spamming the, the command over and over again <laughs> so i thought that was kind of funny okay i think it's this one here yeah number eight but the female version of that one yeah i thought that was kind of funny i laughed <laughs> so this is the female of the very first um event armor yeah that one right there Again, I have to double check. Whoops, wrong one. Um, because there's a lot of armors this month. Not as many as the month we had the 15 when we had the dual event armors, the uh, the decaversary ones, but there's still 12. <laughs> that one was 15. Or was it 16? No, it was 15. That was the most I'd ever had in a single month. Okay, so this one is the Water and Fire, the regular version, which I think was this one. Yep. Yeah. And that's the male, I'm pretty sure, as well. There's the water and air down toward the bottom, which I think is this one. Yep. That is the <coughs> female version of that one. I'm pretty sure. Let me look at those really quick, actually. Yeah, it is. There's a little bit more of an indentation at the waistline, so it's a little bit narrower. That's usually what I look for. Okay, there's the female base of our very first armor. Oops, sorry, not that one. The very the, the uh, reskin one. This is the uh, raid armor number one that I found in here. And here's the female version of the second, or the first Water and Earth, which is number 11. And again, it's usually just that waste. That waste is usually the dead giveaway that, you know, kind of tells you what, what is what. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was kind of funny when that happened. And he, he sends this to me and says, I don't think this guy understands how this all works. <laughs> kind of reminded me of the, uh, I think that's actually the base, is it? Or is that just one step down? Let me look at this. No, I guess it's just one step down. Never mind. Okay, so this is the dual water, but the male, one step down <coughs> from Ascension. Yeah, he sends me this picture, and I just laughed. I thought it was funny. And he says, I don't know if this guy, this guy really doesn't understand how this works. And it made, it immediately made me think of that, um, if any of you guys have seen that video of, uh, it's a, like a bunch of elderly ladies kind of sitting around, and they're like, oh yeah, so I found this, and I wanted to post it to my wall. And they have a literal wall covered in pictures. <clears throat> and the lady says, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. That's immediately what I thought of when I, <clears throat> excuse me, when I when I heard that, I was like, yeah, that's not how that works at all. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's it's cool looking armor. That's why I like it. It's it has kind of an angler fish sort of look to it. Um, I mean, well, I like one of the two. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the other one, but it's they're still cool looking armors. It's just not my thing. Okay, so that's the other one. Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I still have to keep double checking. So this is the female. One step down from Ascension. There's the male. Also one step down. Hang on, did I already get that one? No, I guess I didn't. Oops, wrong one. Where's it at? Okay, so that's that's the ascended version. Hang on, let me look at this. I think I may have messed myself up. And again, I have to zoom manually. I hate when my mouse does this. I don't know why it does it either. It just randomly decides it doesn't want to zoom anymore. So those look identical to me. I don't see any difference. So, I mean, it's one of those cases when, like, the elemental spawn 
and then the Cafe Touches Tribute, which was the reskin of the same armor. I couldn't tell by looking at the armors which one was female versus male because they looked so similar. Um, the legs are the same distance apart. The arms are the same length. The heads, the chests, everything looks like... Well, the heads always do, pretty much. Um, but the arms, the arms look the same. The chest plate looks the same. It looks like the exact same armor, like it's the same... Oh, I'm a dumbass. It is the same armor because I was just looking at it. Good God. Dumbass. <laughs> I'm looking at the armor trying to figure out, wait a minute, I thought I already renamed that one. Because I just did. Reconnect brain, try again. Um, so this is the gold version. Yeah. So this is the gold version female. One step down from Ascension. Here's our very first water and air. Or excuse me, not the very first one, but the uh, raid armor. This is the base of the male. Yeah. Okay, cool. That one's done, other than the female version of it. Which should be coming up soon. Yeah, I typo. There we go. There is the. <clears throat> this is the one that I like better of the two. Like I said, the Water Earths. This is the one I like better of the two. This is the female version of that one. And that's the female of the Dual Water. One step down from Ascension. And there is our very, very first armor. That's the. Um, Sage Master's Resolve um, that looked very water and air initially, but this time it's definitely water and air in the looks as well as the actual elements. I don't know why it was earth and spirit in the first place. I think maybe they just decided, well, we're just going to keep the armor but change the elements. Okay, so this is this one? No, wrong, water and fire. There's too many. It's messing me up. That one. There we go. So this is the base of that one. No. Okay, just making sure it's male. <laughs> Didn't want to mess myself up again. Okay, so water and air right here. That is the raid armor, other than the head, ring, and amulet set, of course. That's done. There's the other water and air, which was right here. Yeah. Number 10. So that is the male, but one step down. There's the base of the male of the dual water. Whoops. Misclick. There's the base of the female. Handy dandy. All right, there's the base, I think, of the second water and fire. I think it's this one. Yeah. That's the base of that one. There's the water and spirit. I think that was the second one. Yep. Just making sure, again, and that is the female. So that's a good one. Good thing I clicked on that one. There's the there's the one I'm not, a, not as big of a fan of, the first water and earth. So that is the male, but one step down. Whoops. Copy. There we go. There's the base of this, the first water and fire. I think it's this one right there. Yeah. Good, good. I haven't messed myself up too horribly this time other than thinking I've done something I haven't already done. The exclusive looks more like water fire? Well, it's because it's, it's just dual water. Um, <clears throat> they've done that also with the dual airs. The dual airs look more like air and something else besides just dual air. It does have kind of some wire, fire look to it, definitely, of course, but it's... The dual airs don't look distinctly dual air either for that point, but it's just... That's the way they do them. They just want to have them look not just straightforward, just white. You know, kind of white and, you know, gray. They want to add some color variation to them, which is why I think they look the way they do. So they don't look just straight blue. Or straight, you know, straight red and orange for fire, that sort of thing. So I think that's the reason why they do it the way they do it. And there is the base of the first water. Oops, is it that one? Nope, I misclicked. That one, yeah. So that's the base of the male of that one. <clears throat> I clicked on the wrong one, but that's okay. I personally like it when they don't look just like exactly the same. You know, it's like, oh, this is this is all blue armor. Oh, it's got to be, you know, it's definitely water. Or this is all all purple, so it's got to be spirit. I think they just add some of the color variation to it to make them more interesting looking. So that's the female base of that one. That one's done, other than the head ring and amulet, of course. <clears throat> that is the water spirit reskin, yeah, of the dual fire exclusive from just a, f a couple cycles ago, actually. That is one. There's the water and spirit just below it, which is this one. Yep. Again, just making sure. That's the male, one step down. There's the first water and earth. 
That's the female. There's the water and fire, which I think was... Oh, one that's a little higher than that one. It's this one right here. Yeah. <clears throat> that's the female base of that one. And there is the water and earth at the bottom, which this is the female one step down. There's the water and spirit reskin. Yep. Making sure again I don't mess myself up. Okay, there's the base of the same one, but male. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, I've got the junk in my throat from the air quality. I'm going to grab the other one really quick since I'm in here, just to get it out of the way. Is that it right there? I'm, I'm having total brain cramp, sorry. Water spirit, yeah, sorry. Duh. Should be, oh, I guess that is the last one. Oh, okay, hang on. Let me go back and look. Oh, yeah, I guess that is all of it, sorry. <laughs> Derp. Water and air at the bottom. That is the female, I believe. Looks like it. Yep, cape's coming up. So we're almost there. That's the water and earth at the bottom. That's the male. Whoops. Oop. Stop that. What are you doing, you dumb thing? There's the water and earth. That's the female of the base. The female of the base. The base female. There's the water and air, which this one is the male base. And that's the water and earth. I think that's male. Pretty sure it is. <clears throat> water and spirit number two. That's the male base, I believe. Looks like it. There's the water and air. Female base. Water and spirit. Female base. Just about done with these. Water and earth. That is the female base of the very last one. And I think that's it. Okay, so here's the cape. <clears throat> it looks actually just like a cape. <coughs> but for some reason to me, it looks not even remotely water. It has kind of like scales looking things on it, but it doesn't look water at all to me. But that's what it looks like, so everyone can kind of see. Um, I wonder sometimes if they design these capes based on the exclusive armor for that month. but Because this would look good on that armor, but it doesn't look distinctly water to me at all. Exactly, yeah, it's fallen on them, yeah, it does have yeah, leaves and kind of the yeah, coloring, the ch season's changing. So that's 72. Let me grab the other cape images really quick. There's a pet. There's a pet. There's a pet. Okay, there it is. So 90 and 91. Okay. So 72. Let's rename that as cape really quick. And 90 and 91. I don't know why they include three of them. They always do, but I don't, I don't know why. It's always been that way. There's always two of them for whatever reason. <laughs> okay. Now we can go through the heads. <clears throat> and the actually, let me get the pets out of here really quick. So we have heads, and we have 81, 84, 85, 81, 84, 85, 81, 84, 85. Let me move those out of the way really quick into their own folder, just so I don't have to worry about them getting in my way while I'm sorting through the heads. I'm going to go through the other ones. There should be 88 and 89. Okay, good. All right. So 88 and 89. Okay, now I can go back to sorting through the heads and the rings and amulets. <clears throat> I'll have the other images of the pets besides, of course, but that gets, gets them out of my way. <clears throat> so this is our second water and fire, the regular, regular quote-unquote version. That looks like a, like a walrus, sort of. Water and fire right there, I think. Yep, that's that one. That's the water and earth at the bottom. That's my probably my favorite armor other than the dual, the dual exclusive this month, actually. Um, that's the Water and Spirit reskin of the exclusive, which I think is that one. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, for crap's sake. <laughs> I, I went to con copy and paste, and I accidentally um, copied and pasted the actual name I was actually looking at, which was Image 75. <laughs> Oops. Okay. There is the Water and Fire Fusion, which I think is this one here. Nope, the one above it. Number five, yep. So that's the most likely going to be a fusion armor. 
There's that one. <clears throat> There's the Water and Earth, the second one from the last, which is right here. Whoops. Copy. Uh, there is the very first one, which is a reskin of the Sage Master's Resolve. Whoops. Keep misclicking here like crazy. Fingers are not cooperating with me at all. There's that one. There's the second Water and Spirit, which is this one here. There's the Water and Air right there. Yep. Number 10. There's the Dual Water Exclusive, which is number 5? 4. Alright, there's number 4. There's the, the the golden version of the Water and Fire armors. Is it this one here? Nope, that's the regular one. <coughs> um, water and Air. Um, the first one is a reskin. This one right here, yes, that one is a reskin of the Sage Master's Resolve, which was an Earth and Spirit, I think. Or a Spirit Earth, whatever. Um, it was actually originally looked very Water and Earth in the first place, but it was made into that. This is also a reskin, but it's like a combo. It's a combo of a couple different armors. Um, the shield has had this like pumpkin head thing put on the front of it, but that's a shield we've seen before. The weapon we've also seen before, but it's been slightly restyled. And then the armor itself is also slightly restyled and the head's different, but that is a reskin also. <clears throat> the, um, the third water and air armor is not a reskin, it's new. This one right here is new. That's a brand new one. I've not seen it before anyway. So this one is the Water and Fire, I think is it this one? Yeah, that's that's that one. This is the golden version of the event armor of some kind, whatever event we're having, I'm not sure. I would assume it's going to be Halloween themed in some way, uh, but I'm not sure. That's the Water and Fire reskin of the Tree Ken Shaman originally, which is this one here. Yeah. Yeah, so this was originally called the Tree Ken Shaman. It's been used several times since. Um, I think three other times, maybe? Four? I'm not sure. It's been at least three times anyway. There's the Water and Air combo reskin, which is the raid armor, this one right here, that I was just talking about. That's going to be probably a Halloween raid, or at least close to Halloween. Probably the 23rd, I think, is when that raid is, something like that. Okay, so this is the ring and amulet set for the event armor. This looks to be the golden one, which I think is this one. So that's the amulet for that one. And that is the ring for the Sage Master's Resolve reskin, which is this one here. And the amulet, of course, will look exactly the same other than the colors as well. Ring. Let me grab the amulet really quick. It should be here. Oh, I, I, there we go. I was going to say it should be here pretty soon, but as I'm scrolling through all the other stuff in the process. Okay, let's close that. And I'm coming up on the other pets. Let me grab them really quick, too. So we have 95, 96... 95, 96, 98. And I'll come back to those in just a second and sort them out after I found the rest of them. 109, 110. Okay. 109 and 110. Notice me, Senpai. <laughs> I don't know who you are based on your name. All I see is Michi Darko Donnie. I don't know who you are other than that. I don't know you from Adam otherwise. Um, and you spelled senpai wrong, senpai wrong by the way. <laughs> it's S-E-N-P-A-I. Okay. So this is the ring for that water air there. Whoops. Sorry. Duh. Uh, there is the amulet. Oh, Ghost Rage. Hey, welcome. Uh, that is the ring for the non-golden version of the event armor, which I think is this one. Yep. That's the ring for that one. Horrible speller. <laughs> no worries, I have my moments as well. Okay, that is, I think, the water and spirit. Looks like it. Let me go here and look. Really quick, like. That definitely looks like that armor. So, we're going to say it is. Um... If I zoom in, it's probably going to look similar to the front of the head, sort of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it looks it looks similar enough to my eyes. I think it's the right one. Yep, we're going to go with that one. So that is the ring 
for that one. There is the Halloween armor, the Halloween raid armor, the water and air, which is this one here. Yeah. Looks just like the shield, of course, because it's, you know, I got that little obvious, you know, kind of jack-o'-lantern look to it. There is the reskin of the exclusive Water and Spirit, which is this one. Yep, okay, that's the ring for that one. It's going to look exactly the same as the original, other than the colors, of course. Let's find the amulet really quick while we're in there. That's 107. Okay, close you over here. So this is the reskin of the Tree Can Shaman. Welcome, MLVYV1977. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Well, I'm I'm vaping nicotine, so <laughs> I don't know what rips you're taking, but it's not the same thing. So this is that one. It's the re the tree skin, tree kin shaman, like I said. Whoops, I'm in the wrong screen. Uh, that's the raid armor, water and air at the top. There's so many armors here; it takes forever to go through them all. Oops, that's the wrong one. This one. Yeah. Wrong one. I already got that one done. This is going to be a relatively easy month to sort through these things. Okay, I was wrong on the um, amulet for the water and fire event armor. Which I think I put this one as the... Or that was the... That's the first one. Hang on. Let me find this. Let me find this one here. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so this is the amulet. I, I put this one on. And it's actually not the golden one. So this one is actually armor number six is actually armor number nine. So this one is actually armor number nine. I got that one wrong because it was not quite golden enough, I guess. This is the one that's golden. There we go. Sorted. All right. This one, I believe, is the... Um, that's the one of the water earths. I think it's this one here. Yeah, it's this one right here. Looks just like has the same kind of flares on the weapon and everything else. Oh, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Nicotine is actually not not addictive at all, contrary to popular belief. Um, that is, oh yeah, sorry, this one is uh, Water and Earth. So that's the ring for that one. There's the dual water ring, which is number four. That is the, uh, that's Water and Earth, I think, as well. I think that's this one. Yeah, looks like that one. Let me zoom in a bit. I can see it a little better. It definitely looks more like this armor than the other ones. It has, it has the same little like dots at the bottom of the shoulder plate right there. And it has the same sort of color scheme too. So it has these kind of jeweled sort of blades on it. You know, kind of coming out the top there. So that's that one. That's easy enough. Okay. And that's the dual water shield. Which, like I said, the dual water shield. It looks just like the dual water's shield. There we go. And that's the water and spirit, which is, I think, this one right here. Yeah. That's the uh, amulet for it. There is the water and fire fusion armor. I, I say fusion armor. It's most likely the fusion armor. That's the ring or the amulet for that one. I could type today, that would be helpful. Uh, there is the golden ring for the event armor. That's the this one here. That's the regular one, I think. No, that is the golden one, sorry. So that is that one. Um, yeah, that's the ring for that one. And there's a crafting material, looks like mushrooms. Terrestrial halberd. Um... Yeah, it kind of does. Got a point. That's the ring for... Oh, what is that one? What does that one go to? Is that this one? Yeah, it's this one. Sorry. I don't even know why I even looked. That's the same little blade-looking things on the sides of it. So that's... Oops, not that one. That's, the, that's, an, that's a material of some kind. Ring for that one is done. And this one is... The water and fire... It's this one? Yeah. This is the ring for that one. It's the only one we were missing, I think. That's number 118? Yep. Yeah. I think, other than, as you can see, other than the Tree Kin Shaman, which we're missing a ring for, all of the rest of them are done. OK. 
Okay, so that's number 119. I think that's it. I think that's all the ring and ambulance. Okay, so we have the... Let me close this. So we have material number one. Oh, we have one more amulet. Sorry, I thought I thought I had them all. That is the water and air. I think it's this one right here. Yeah. Has the same sort of little, like, thing coming off the front of the... Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? I saw it. Huh? Is that not it? Looks just like it. Where did I see that? It has like a little thing coming off the off the thing there. I just don't see it on the armor now or on the weapon. What the crap? Am I just blind? And it's there and I'm just not seeing it? I mean it looks like this armor. Well, kind of. Let me look at the other one. Let me look at the red armor. This one right here, I think. Yeah. No, it's definitely not that one. Um, what did that go to? Okay, so we've got the Sage Master's Resolve. That's done. The um, Treekin Shaman. That's an easy one. This one, is it this one? No, it's not that one. That one, that one already I already matched up a ring for. Yeah, it's, that's an obvious one. Amulet. Yeah, that's an obvious one too. Okay. Dual Water is done. Water and Fire. That's the Fusion most likely. The Water and Fire Event Armor. That's an obvious one. The Water and Spirit. That's a reskin, so that's an obvious one. The water and spirit here. Yeah, it's definitely not that one. This is the other event armor. That's that's obvious. Um, this is the only one left. What the? Now I'm confusing myself. I could have sworn I saw that little, like... What do they call that creature? It's a deep sea creature that has the little thing coming off the front of the head. It's like a like bait. <laughs> call me Blindo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not blind. I'm just moderately uh, colorblind. Uh, so I guess that kind of makes me blind in one respect. But I could have sworn the raid boss armor. Um, you might be right. Let me look at it. It's right there. Yeah, it's this one. No, that's definitely not this one. This is the raid boss armor. And it looks nothing like this. Yeah, it's definitely not that one because the ring that goes with it is clearly the ring that goes with it because it has that same skull that you see on the front of the shield and also on the center of the waistband right there. So it's definitely not that one. <clears throat> um, that's the only one really left. Let me look at the other, let me look at the two wa the water and earths really quick just to be sure I'm not screwing myself up here. No, it's definitely not that one. <clears throat> Maybe it's the other water and earth and I just messed up. Yep, that's it. It is this one. There's that little dually, little dually thingy, whatever that thing's called. <clears throat> the little bait that hangs over the front of the fish's face. Yeah, fish face. Yep, <laughs> it's that one. And it looks just like the front of the head, too. So that's an obvious one. So I just re I just labeled the wrong one. I have one more, apparently, that I missed. Um, that's 120? Yeah, oh, that's the wrong one. 120. I still have one more. I thought I was done. I still have one more after this one. It's right there. That looks more like the water and earth. Or the water and air, excuse me. That one right there. Yeah, much more like that one. Okay, <laughs> we are good. I just was making myself nervous that, thinking I'd missed one. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is another material, crafting material, which looks just like candy. Go figure, Halloween. Um, looks like a witch's hand or a zombie's hand or something. I don't know. And a broom and a hat. So there are a total of five crafting materials. So we have this mushroom-looking thing, which I'm guessing is probably going to be a seasonal material. Then we have the candy then we have the witch's hand, and then we have the broom and the hat. I don't know which of them is going to be the other one, the other the other seasonal uh, crafting material or not. That one is most likely one of the two. I just don't know which of the other four is going to be the other one. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you have a stroke? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm going to go with the, the hand as being the other seasonal material. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what I'm going to go with, because I don't know. The other ones look very clearly, obviously, Halloween-themed, because you've got a witch's hat, witch's broom, and then candy. So those are very clearly, obviously, Halloween-themed. But this one, it could be, because like, it looks like a, like a witch's hand or zombie hand or something, because it has, like, the claws on it. It looks more like a witch, but it's, I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't know. There's no other materials in here, so... Yeah, so some of them, of course, are going to be for a Halloween event of some kind, but I don't know which of the other ones are going to be right or not. 
I'm just guessing with it being the hand. So there we are. So now let's go to the pets and sort them out really quick. Because I know I need to get these done. So that one... Okay, so that one is definitely tier 5. So 81 is tier 5. There we go. That one, uh, 85 is tier 4. Whoops. 4. There we go. Uh, and that one is tier 3, which is 84. Uh, and then we have the base. So this one is 88 is tier 2. And 89 is tier 1. Okay, there we go. So now we can go into, oops, went too far back out. I need to get all of the other miscellaneous stuff from here, as well as these two. And I don't know, like I said, of the materials, which ones are going to be seasonal versus event. It's going to be a very similar kind of uh, collection sort of event where you collect materials and you do rare spawns and that sort of stuff. Probably not going to be that different than the norm of what we've had for the past several months probably a year now I would imagine close to it if not over a year okay then we have the materials at the bottom we're gonna copy and paste all right so now we can go into here and start crafting armors or no, crafting <laughs> start making armors shall we now there we go makes a little bit more sense when I say it that way close you all right. Five, four, three, two, one. Got it? Got it. Okay. So this one, as I said earlier, the Sage Masters Resolve, the original armor this was based on, which I think was season 37, I want to say. Um very clearly looked air and earth or excuse me air and water in the first place but they made it earth and spirit this one is air and water and looks air and water so it's a little bit more along the lines of what it should have been i think but i i'm not sure if they just had the armor made and just said oh let's just use it it's not the right elements but we'll use it anyway and so it became uh that month's air and earth and spirit seasonal even though it didn't look distinctly earth and spirit like very water and air and the rain amulet set did too but I'm not sure if they just decided to use it and said, oh, well, we've already got it. We might as well use it rather than having the art team make another one. Because it does cost them to have, you know, the armors made, especially brand new ones. Brand new armors are more expensive to create based on just the art coming up with the art than it would be to um, just reskin it, you know, recolor it. Yeah, the head on this one is pretty huge. But when you get the other armor, the other armor in there, it looks a little bit more. Looks like it fits a little bit better, like so. So there's that one. Before I add anything else to it, um, the I do this with most of the most of the time when I'm doing these live streams. For those of you who haven't watched before now, um, I do it because I want people to see what the armor looks like before the shields cover up the majority of that outward-facing arm. So I just do that so people can kind of get a look at it because this tends to cover up what you'd normally see. So I just do that so people can kind of look at it and say, oh, that's what that looks like underneath everything that's covering it up. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on. I like the look of this armor originally. This one, I'm not really necessarily a fan of the colors of this new version of it, but I like the original one too. I just, I like the other, I think I kind of like the original one just a little bit better than this one, just because the color scheme kind of more consistently matches the elements that they're going to be using. Because the last one, I like the look of it a little bit better, but the, the, the elements didn't match. Where's the other handle? Am I blind? Oh, they made two of them. How weird. <laughs> that's not very common. It's usually three weapons. There's usually the one that's the standing in victory pose sort of thing. And then they have the one without the handle. And then they have the weapon with the hand on it. And then they have the rest of the handle. So it's usually just three, three weapons and then the end of the handle, they have the other, other end of the handle here, which is what they use to kind of overlay this hand here when it's holding it up. But that's kind of strange. I don't know. Weird. Um, but yeah, so this is the, like I said, this one I like a little bit better in the respect that it's the same elements as what it's supposed to be. But I like the original look better. 
even though the elements don't really match. I need to clean up that edge. It's going to bug me if I don't. Click, you dumb thing. Thank you. That looks a little better. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. It's only going to bug me. Probably nobody else really cares. <laughs> and that's that. All right. And move you up here. Kind of clean up the edges there a little bit. Get it roughly in the corner. This one is... 310 wide. Wow, that's a wide armor. Get it kind of in the middle there. Black about like so. And we're going to jump out to here because we're in, whoops, wrong month. There we go. So this is armor one, water air. Bam, one down. 11 to go. Got a little bit of these bleeding edges. I've mentioned these before in previous streams. Um, the... For some reason, the armors have these kind of uh, edges that bleed. Um, I'll go through that actually toward the end of the stream after I get the sheet more or less prepared. Um, I've kind of already said this one's one of the raid armors. Um, the uh, There's two water fires besides this one that are uh, event armors. And then there's also the one that's most likely fusion. These are the bleeding edges I'm talking about. It looks like just like a little bit of edge was just not cleaned up as well. So I kind of delete them just to kind of make them look a little nicer. Erase them, I should say. This is one of the most unique armors in the respect that the neck portion that goes directly beneath the helmet is part of the arm piece, which is the only one I think of that has this. This one has the regular sort of, you know, chest piece right here, but this part goes over the top of that. It's one of the only ones I think that has it, if not the only one. It's kind of cool. Just a weird, you know, kind of thing with this armor in particular. So when I put this down here, I have to actually space it out just a little bit so that other piece can kind of go in between the two. So that's what that's going to kind of look like until I put the other piece in there. That's going to look right there. Okay. And then I will do the legs and I'll throw that other piece in and kind of show you what I mean. This is, I think, the only armor, or like I said, the only armor or maybe one of the only few that has this. There might have been a couple of older, like maybe Dragonforged or Epic armors that had something similar. But of the Shadow Forge, this is the only one. This is unique to this particular armor. It does not exist anywhere else that I can remember. Okay, so now we get to do the arm. And this is going to go between the chest and the head, which is normal. It's actually where I normally put it anyway in the layers. But this one I put right here, and then I drag it over to about right there. Ta-da! <laughs> so there's that one. Pretty cool looking armor. I like the look of that armor in general anyway, regardless of the elements. I have the Tree Ken Shaman on a couple of accounts, and I think I have one of the uh, the newer versions of it. I think it was the Earth and Spirit one that we had a year and a half-ish ago, I think. And there's the shield that covers up the entire arm. <laughs> you can't see any of it. It's basically gone with this massive shield. Uh, but yeah, I do have the Tree Ken Shaman on one of, a few of my accounts. I think that was season 18, something like that. Um, and then the I have a couple of the other ones on EU. I have one of the other ones, I should say, on EU. What guild am I usually in? Um, I play on Android um, Global, and I play on Android EU. Um, I've been in the same guild on Android Global for probably close to a year now, or at least, well, I should say probably close to it. It's pretty close to a year. Um, and that's the Grant Clan. It's one of our alliances, um, I, call, I guess you call it a sub-guild to Angus, which is the kind of the main guild of that little group, one of the main guilds of that group um, within the alliance. And I'm there largely because I just, I don't have the time on the weekends anymore to be able to do any top runs or even try to do top runs, which I, I normally don't do them, um, largely because I just don't have time, like especially Guild Wars. I don't have the time to devote to be able to, you know, wait for frenzies and all that other garbage. I don't have the time I would need, whoops, I typoed that, um, to be able to, I did it again, um, to be able to devote to wars. That's a little too short, actually. Let's do 260. Um, if I had more time, I could probably do a lot better. Don't worry, I'm here. Um, I don't play on iOS. I don't even own an iOS device. Well, I shouldn't say I don't own one. I have one now, but I'm not planning. I, I have to use it for work. I can't use it for the game. 
for raids, I can just set it to auto and go. I don't have to worry about those as much. Um, but for wars, I just don't have the time. Armor 2. I have an iOS device now, but I can't use it for games. So, sad as that is. Um, but I only got it like in the past few days. I may eventually later on be able to use it for something else, but not right now. Later on meaning like months from now. And I really truthfully have no desire to have another account on another server. <laughs> I already have too many accounts as it is on, on Android. That looks a little off. There we go, that looks better. I had to kind of shift it to the left a little. So this armor, like I said, has been used before. I remember seeing these like feather pieces coming off of the shoulders. I've seen that before. I just can't recall the armor. Um, but this has been kind of like... I call it a combo reskin because it's a combo of a few armors. And recolored, of course. Um, but I have seen this these like feathers coming off the shoulders on another armor before. And I've also seen this handle with like the leaves coming off of it on another armor before as well. So I know I've seen pieces of this <clears throat> on another armor in the past. I just can't remember which one it's from. There's that one. Again, just so you can see what it looks like before that massive shield covers everything up. Frankenstein armor. <laughs> it kind of does. It's a, it's, a, it's a cross between a multiple different ones. So in that respect, it kind of is Frankenstein-esque. Okay, so there is that one. That's going to go right about here and cover up almost the entire side of that armor. Which is unfortunate because you can't really see any of the effects on it. And the weapon, this portion of the weapon, not the blade coming out of it, but this portion of the weapon down to here has been used before. I know it has. I just don't remember where. I'm going to have to get a little, lot closer to that because I'm going to bleed over into the armor if I don't. Or into the shield, rather, if I don't. Because the shield is massive and it's going to going to bleed into the... Uh, over here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm okay. I was worried it was going to kind of bleed over into here and it kind of is. But not too bad. If I get down here, so it kind of covers up the shield. I was afraid of that. I'm going to have to do that again. I may end up actually just chopping off a little bit right here and not worrying about that because it's uh, kind of not really necessary because the other half of it that I'll be adding in later... Whoops, don't cut. Copy. The other half of it I'll be adding in later is right there, and it should include some of that. So I might have to do a little bit of finagling to get this to work right, but I don't want it over flat, over overlapping this over here. So... I don't want it to mess that up. So I think I have a little bit of room to play with, though, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Clean that up, and I'm going to clean up the edge of this to make that blend in a little bit better. <coughs> and then I'll grab the rest of this right here. There we go. And to get this to kind of blend in, and you can probably hear grandkids crying in the background. <laughs> One of them is apparently misbehaving. There we go. That actually looks pretty good. That's going to that's gonna bug me. I have to fix that. Hang on. <laughs> that right there I didn't see initially. I'm going to have to fix that because that's going to bug me a like really, really badly. So let's see if I can fit this in here a little bit. Clean that up there. No, that's over the top of that. I, did, I deleted too much. I wanted to delete just this portion here that overlaps the armor. My grandson is not having a good day apparently. <laughs> there we go. That looks a lot better. It kind of blends in behind it. There we go. Okay. All right. This armor is a raid armor. <clears throat> okay, zoom out of there. Yeah, this one is a combo reskin, like I mentioned. Um, it is a, an armor that's been used before. At least portions of it, I should say, has been used before. Um, it's just been, it's kind of a combo of multiple armors into one with, I think, a new head mostly. Who is messaging me? Good lord. Somebody's blowing, blowing up my phone. Okay, um... 300. That's a wide armor, too, actually. Not a lot of armors are that wide. Most of them are 250 to 280. This is pretty wide, actually. That's right there, and we'll save that one as armor 3, water, air. That one's done. kind of like how that blended in, actually. kind of looks good. I'm so surprising. Surprising I actually made that work as well as I did. Sometimes I mess those up. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes I mess up those blends, and I don't get them quite right. I have to go back and do them again. All right, so here is our dual water exclusive. And I like the look of this armor. It looks very pirate sort of feel, and pirate's water kind of makes sense. 
Um, it has kind of some similarities to the, um, what do you call it, the Willowaw Corsair, which was a water and air uh, seasonal from a while back, along with the Dread Pirate Finery in some ways, because it has that kind of pirate sort of feel to it. I kind of like that pirate sort of, you know, vibe that they have going on. With Water Month, it makes sense. But it definitely has a pirate sort of feel to it. And the blade looks very much like a cutlass, so that just kind of goes along with the same sort of feeling. There we go. And the arm looks very much like a... What do you call it? Um, drawing a blank. Uh, privateer, which were basically legalized piracy. Um, back in when pirates were still very commonplace, they actually hired pirates to basically legally do pirating, um, according to the British Crown, if I remember correctly. Um, so this looks very much like a like a commandant sort of you know uniform, but still has a very piratey sort of feel to it. About like that, and then it's going to have to blend in that wrist a whole lot because there's a whole lot of wrist here that is getting overlapped by this sleeve, like so. And then we'll clear clear out the edge of this just a little bit so I can blend in the rest of the handle, the rest of the hilt to the lower end of it, like so. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't get the shield on here because I'm a derp. I'll finish this up and I'll put the shield on in just a second, like so. I didn't put the shield on. <laughs> Duh. For some reason, I forgot the shield. Probably the distraction of my grandkids having a bad day in the background. Okay, let's go back to here. I'm going to here and do a new layer right there. <clears throat> and then I can go over the top of that. Oh, that's wrong. Don't want that there. I want it here. I think that's right. Nope, still wrong. Right there. That should be over. I'm putting it behind farther. What am I doing? Duh. Now we're right in the right place. Okay. Duh. Messing up my layers. I'm having one of those days. <clears throat> okay, so there's that one. That's our seasonal exclusive. Some people call it elite. It's the same basic thing. The term elite, I think, came from the Dragonforge system on EU a few years back. Because they always called those, like, the top-of-the-line armors elites. <coughs> Is it harder to do the data mine when there's more event stuff in it? Not really. Uh, it just takes longer to do is all. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> you say it's easier to do when because there, there's three weekend wars. That's assuming you have the time to do the weekend wars. And not everybody does. So a lot of people have like jobs and they have real lives and families. <clears throat> so saying it's easy is not really very appropriate because not everyone has that kind of free time. Myself, I don't. Um, a lot of people have full-time jobs and that sort of thing. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat I can't get rid of. Um, they don't seem to have the time either. You know, people that have, like, jobs and whatnot. Not everyone has the time to run every weekend. I know I don't. Um, okay, that's... Just trying to get that centered. That looks pretty good. Armor four... Done. Okay, number five's up next. No, I don't want to save it. Okay, so here is the most... This is most likely, as I said, the fusion armor. The fusion armors tend to have a, a very unique look to them, where they don't really kind of seem to match up to the rest of the armors for that month. And this one has a very unique look that doesn't really... Well, I guess they don't really kind of match at all because they're all the different elements, but this one just looks like a fusion armor to me. And I'm usually right with that. More often than not, anyway. A little bit of a bleeding edge on this one, too. Didn't see what. You talking about the dual, the dual water exclusive? You'll see it in a minute. Once I get done assembling these guys. Um, and I have, for the record, never done a single vape trick in my life. Nor do I have any desire to. I didn't start doing it to be cool. I started doing it to quit smoking. And it worked. So... I quit smoking seven and a half years ago. Oh yeah, the, the dual water does look good. I think most would agree on that. Um, I'm just making sure there's no edges here. I need to clean up. There aren't any. Okay. Let me see if this... That looks pretty good. Okay. And... 
clean this up a little. There's some edge on that one I need to clean up. It'll probably be covered by the shield, but I'm going to get it anyway. Yeah, I... In response to your thing about the whole vape trick thing, I wasn't saying that to be a jerk. I've just I've never done one, nor do I really have any desire to. Um, I quit smoking, uh, like I said, about seven and a half years ago. Um, I smoked for twenty years prior to then, so I think twenty years is more than enough. Um, and I said earlier that nicotine isn't as addictive as everyone says it is, because I've actually read studies that were not conducted in the U.S. By the way, that's important to me. Because if it's conducted in the U.S., it's going to be biased because everything in the U.S. is, is has some company behind it that has an agenda that they want to do something. So I never trust any of the, the studies I get or see from the from the U.S. Um, I believe the study was performed in the U.K., if memory serves. And they tested, um, they tested nicotine on, of course, because everyone has to test on lab rats, of course. They tested on lab rats. Um, but they gave them food, basically, that was laced with nicotine. Just nicotine, regular food, but had nicotine in it. That was all it was. Um, and they had a control test where they had rats that had nothing but regular food and all that good st scientific stuff. Um, and they they gave them the nicotine food next to regular food. And the rats just ate whatever they wanted to eat. didn't seem to really care. Um, and uh, they, okay, they took the, the nicotine-laced food away. Rats didn't seem to care. They just kept eating the food. Nothing really changed. They didn't, like, stop eating or anything or throw any kind of fit. They just ate the other food. Whatever. Not a big deal. And then they took, I think it was two chemicals, maybe two or three, um, of the, of the like, 4,000 chemicals in cigarettes. And they put, I think it was two. They put two of them in the food. They laced the food with two of those chemicals. Just two. And there's, like, 4,000 of them. Um, and the at first, the rats didn't really seem to notice. And then they started eating only the, the, the chemical-laced food and stopped eating the other one. So they thought that was interesting. And this is done over the course of many weeks, by the way, not just like one day. Uh, and then they gave the... And then they took the regular food away, or the nicotine, or the... Sorry, the chemical-laced food away, and the rats stopped eating. Completely stopped. They tried the little food, the regular food, a little bit, and then they was like, nope, don't like it, and they stopped eating. They would not eat the normal food. As soon as they put the laced food back in, they went to town. So they were clearly, clearly addicted to it. The nicotine, they didn't care, one way or the other. The only no thing that they noticed with the nicotine-laced food was that they had a little bit more energy. Because nicotine is an upper. It's a stimulant. That's all it is. It's essentially in the same family as caffeine. So if you drink coffee, energy drinks, all that stuff, it's essentially the same thing. It's, it's, it's a stimulant. That's all it is. And so them saying it's addicting, like people can quit coffee, they have headaches for a week or two, and then they're done. That's it. It's not It's not that addicting. So that's my opinion anyway. Do your own research. Form your own opinions. But that's my opinion on it. And I can go for hours without vaping, and it doesn't bother me in the slightest. So. Okay, so this is, that's armor number five. Okay. Now we're going to go back to here. We're going to get 6 through 10, which is this one, this one, this one, and this one, and that one. So, yeah, that's it. that's just my take on it. You know, I, I, I always recommend everyone always do their own research and not just take anyone's word for it because if there's any studies that I have read in the past, um, Virtually every study I've ever read that was based by a U.S. company was biased in some way. Like they've, they're using like obviously flawed techniques. I'm not a scientist and I can tell they're using flawed techniques. They're doing things intentionally to come to a result for the people that paid for the study. They're, they're, that's obvious. It's obviously biased from the get-go. They're using flawed techniques, using flawed practices, no control group, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. I've seen enough Mythbusters to know you need a control group <laughs> um, because you need something that has no bias and no no different results than what would happen under normal circumstances. I don't remember what it was called. It's been probably two years ago that I found it. Um, but the I'm thinking that's going to go like that because there's got to be a little bit of face that peeks out. Maybe or maybe it goes all the way up like this. That doesn't look right to me, though. I'm going to leave it like that. I think that looks okay. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> it looks like it, there should be a little bit of a gap there for some a little bit of the head of the of the person to come through. I don't think it fully covers the head. I could be wrong, but yeah. 
So, like I said, everything in the U.S., especially in the U.S., is biased in some fashion, largely because basically whoever has the deepest pockets wins. Uh, yeah, Zardino, I am an old man. I'll be 46 next month. <laughs> I have grandkids, you name it. Yeah, I'm, I'm an old man. And this hair is bleached because I am probably 60-ish percent gray at this point. I figured, screw it, let's just go blonde and go as platinum as I can. I need a touch-up. You can probably see like a little bit of the dark in there. Um, I still have some dark left, some original color of my hair left. My hair is originally brown, but it's a little bit dark. So it kind of sticks out. You can kind of see it in the roots. But, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm young depending on your pref depending on your, your point of view, I suppose. Um, for some people, I'm old. For other people, I'm like, oh, you're only my dad's age. You're not old. Or, you know, that sort of thing. It depends on your perspective. I see my dad, my own dad, as being old. Because he's over 80 years old. So, but I tease him about it. I call him old fart. But, you know, just because I'm allowed to. I'm his son. Um, but yeah, it depends on your perspective on how you, how you, how you see age. I don't personally think I'm old. I don't feel old, but, uh, that's again, your mileage may vary. So that's that one. I like the look of it. Honestly, I like the look of that armor. It's cool. And then the shield has this kind of flaming like cross with a skull in the middle of it and flames coming off the top. This is a cool looking armor. I like this one. Again, this is probably a Halloween theme of Halloween event theme of some kind. I just don't know, because I don't have any information yet. All I have is images. Okay. Is that bleeding? No, it looks pretty good. Making sure I don't have any more of those edges that are kind of bleeding over. And that's going to go right about here. Yeah, this is the event armor. This is the golden version of the armor. So, it looks like it has like a cross, like, skull theme. So, and flames, of course, because it's water and fire. Yeah, the shield is small. <laughs> For sure. Some of the armors have these massive shields that are just ridiculously big. And this one's just kind of small. This one looks like decently sized for the armor, I guess. But it's small on the smaller side. And of course the end of the handle, or the hilt, if you will, has a little mini cross on it too. Whoops. Copy, not, not cut. And this is going to go back here in the background behind the hand. Like so. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, there's that one. There's the golden version, which if you've played the game for even just the past, like, year, we've had a couple of events with the regular and the golden versions, so this is pretty common. Stop it. I'm trying to scroll into... Oh, my God. Stop it. Phone. Stop it. I just want to say stop it, phone. Stop it, mouse. It's, like, jumping around on me. I'm trying to just scroll in just a little bit, and it jumps, like... I'm looking right down here, by the way. It's hard to see, but there's 115% right there. I try to get it down to about 112 to 115 before I resize the image and make it more square. And I ju it just kept jumping from 115 to 100. It's like, what are you doing? Stop that. <clears throat> okay, 250. That one's darn near square. Already. Just a little bit tall. Not much, though. It actually works out quite well. There we go. So this is armor 6. The golden version of the event armor. And no, I don't want to save it because I didn't mean to cut and paste. This is the reskin of the dual fire exclusive from, I want to say, three cycles ago. Something like that. I think it was season 37, if I remember right. The exclusive from season 37. So I guess that's just over a year ago now. As of this month. Just over a year. Oop, I'm going to go that wide. Derp! Okay. I like the look of this armor, too. Um, I like the original just a little bit more than this one, but this is still a good-looking armor. I like it. Where's the legs? There they are. I like this armor for two, th for two reasons. One, because it has these flares coming off the shield and the head, the kind of like the wing-looking things, and it has these massive spikes coming off the shoulder pauldrons. That's what they're called, pauldrons. Um, I had actually had to look that up after my first couple live streams. I couldn't think of the name. Um, but this is, it just has these cool, like, spikes and things coming off of it. I just, I like that design. I like the feel of it. It looks cool. Again, your mileage may vary. 
you are of course allowed to think what you like. I like the look of this armor. But I do, I think this month, I think the dual exclusive, the dual water, um, looks the best. With probably the water earth, the very last water earth, being a close second. That's just me, though. Okay. And shield, which sadly is going to cover up almost that entire arm. Eh, well, most of it, anyway. Like so. And then the weapon... Up to there, like so, and drop that down here on the arm, which I need to line that up <clears throat> right about there. Clean up that edge of the wrist. Sometimes they don't need to be cleaned up, like the one I just did, they don't need to be cleaned up much. This one does need to be cleaned up. <clears throat> the water and fire event armor, the hand just kind of just drops right where it's supposed to be. Okay, where's the rest of the handle? Oh, there it is. I'm looking in the wrong place. Um, sometimes they need to be cleaned up a lot. Sometimes they just blend right in and it's fine. Just depends on the armor. This one, I need to get it right about there. Look right. Let me move it in just a little. Actually, that looks better like that. I like that better. Okay, there's that one. So zooming in to about... Stop it. One little click. There we go. My mouse is being a little too sensitive today. And it always lags when I try to merge all those layers back together. My computer is uh, an older computer, so I may end up, end up having to upgrade here in the near future. <clears throat> I think the computer itself is like seven, eight years old. It's still running Windows 7, just because I never upgraded. Um, it depends on my mood um, regarding what, what I prefer. This one I have in my little tank. It's the only tank I currently use. Um, is like a ginger cookie or snickerdoodle, something like that. It's quite tasty. And then I have another device that has um, a blueberry blueberry raspberry cream, I think is what it is. It's I actually make my own. So I only buy every, every so often if I'm feeling like I want something different than what I actually have. Uh, but most of the time I make my own. Are you talking about um, Doc's chat? Probably what you're talking Oh, sorry, that's, that's the TNB chat, never mind. Um, uptime? Yeah, I don't have any bots, sorry. <laughs> um, I haven't ever, I haven't, I haven't had a need for any on here. Um, armor 7, I think? Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't, I don't have any bots on, 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 uh, on my streams. The lounge chat, yeah, that's what I thought. T I had to think for a second. I'm like, wait a minute, where are you from again? Oh, that's right. Solo Ghost Rage, that's right, never mind. <laughs> I have to associate the names because no, it's rare that... Whoops, that's not what I want to do at all. Um, it's rare that people use the same names on Twitch. What? what? Oh, stupid thing. Um, it's rare that people use the same name on Twitch that they do elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I've known Docs for a long time. It's actually one of the few people on iOS I, I normally, like, regularly talk to. I talk to a few people in the Sages chat that Docs is also in, but I don't, uh, and I'm not talking about Doc, by the way. Doc Redstone's a different person. I'm talking about Docs. He's, uh, on iOS. Um, I talk to him, actually, probably more often than I talk with any of the other people on iOS, just because I'm in a chat with him, <laughs> and I'm also in the Sages chat with him, but there's also other people in, on iOS that are also in there, so it's not just him. Yeah, this is, uh, well, it makes sense. It looks like a spirit water because it is a water spirit. And it's probably from the same art team because it has kind of that more retro look to it, to my eyes, anyway. I, I, I like the look of this one, too. Yeah, Docs is cool. I like him as well. Okay, that's that right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually one of the few chats I'm in. Actually, the only chat, I think, that I'm in that isn't Android. Um, I have people in other chats that I'm in that are on Andro or that are on iOS, but the, the chats themselves are not really server-specific. Um, I used to be in one with a bunch of the people on the, uh, in the Touch Alliance on iOS Global. 
um, but had a falling out with them and had a falling out with one of their leaders and basically just said, nope, you guys are on your own. Have fun. Um, I had a chat that I was actually I was actually maintaining as a favor to one of the people in touch, and she and I had a, I guess you could say a falling out. Um, she was not particularly kind to me for quite a while there, and I basically kind of called her on it. She didn't like it much, and some of her people removed me from the chat that I that I had been in for a while, and just said, "Okay, I'm done. You guys are on your own. I'm not. I'm not going to help you guys anymore. I'm still friends with some of the people in the alliance. So I'm just not. I'm not in their chats anymore, and kind of refused to be. I don't have time for that kind of ignorant, immature crap. I have better things to do with my time, like watching paint dry, than listen to their idiocy and ignorance. Um." Well, not everybody in that chat was that way, just some. Um, well, yeah, they do. They're available on CandyBot. Anybody that has CandyBot can get them. Um, and some of the people that are in that that uh, that chat are also um, in other chats with me. So it's not like it's exclusively, you know, only like it's not like I'm saying only people who are not in chat can have access to this. That's not it at all. Um, it's just, you know, I'm just not updating a chat specifically for them anymore, which is what I was doing. They had a, a chat that I was uh, invited to by one of the leaders, as I said, and I kind of was just creating albums and folders and stuff in that chat for them to use to share with their, the people in their alliance. And um, had that falling out, and I just kind of shut the chat down and said, nope, I'm done, see ya. And I deleted all the notes, all the albums, and just said, nope, I'm done, I'm out. And some of the people that were in that chat know the story. That's really all that matters. Because they were the ones that were impacted by it. <laughs> However, there is somebody actually in the Touch Alliance that does a data mine as well. His name's Legion. Um, he also creates his own version of this. He and I have a, a bit of an understanding where I just, I politely asked him, hey, can you not release anything you do until after my live stream is over? And he said, sure, no problem. So he and I have never had issues. Armor 8. Yeah. I had to think, is that 8 or 9? <laughs> Having brain cramp. Um, but yeah, he, he creates his own version of it. You might have seen them around here and there. Um, but he's he's in touch. He's a member of the Touch Alliance. But he's not as active as he used to be. He still does them fairly fairly common, fairly normally, I should say, fairly regularly. But he misses months sometimes just because he's got his own personal stuff going on, his own life, and doesn't always have the time to devote to it. Because it can be a very time-consuming and tedious pro process to do this. And my average live streams are about two hours, hour and 50 minutes, hour and 45, something like that. But I have had some that lasted three. Um, largely because there were, it was actually the month where we had the 15 armors. That one was like close to three or just over three. But only because there was just so much data to go through. This one is almost to that level. We're at uh, an hour and 21 minutes right now and I'm still putting armors together. But I've also been chatting with you guys and I don't mind that either. I don't mind doing that. So but yeah, but this is likely going to be about a 2.15... 220, something like that, in length. Whoops. I did not want to grab that. I wanted to grab the legs. What am I doing? I'm distracting myself. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, these, these live streams are usually around an hour and 45 minutes to a two hours on average. But this one's running a little longer because it's just going to take longer. Yeah, it's, well, it's it's something that I actually, to an extent, kind of taught him how to do back when I had more free time to do that. I don't have that kind of free time now. I just have too much going on in my personal life and work. Um, but back then, I kind of had the time to, I literally just sat down with him and, you know, online, of course. I think it was, we had like a, just the two of us chatting. I kind of walked him through a good portion of it. And then just said, if you watch my live streams, either on live or on YouTube, you'll get an idea of like kind of how I do the rest of it. So, but getting access to the files themselves is not hard. It's actually very easy to do. But getting the data out of those files, if you don't know what you're doing, can be time consuming, monotonous, and nearly impossible uh, because the files themselves are what's called hex encoded. Um, if you know what hex is, if you've ever been involved in any kind of programming or anything, Hex encoding is fairly common, but if you don't know um, if you don't know how to use a hex decoder, hex encoder application, getting the images out is basically impossible. Um, 
you know, I've, I've developed shortcuts and I have other ways of doing it since, since I first started doing it, which is now about three years ago, three and a half almost, um, that I have other ways of doing things that's a little bit faster. But the process itself of getting the, you know, the armor, the images, or the images, sorry, the files is easy. Um, actually, I talk with Deck all the time. I'm in the Sages chat with him. Um, the only thing that they've said is that um, one of the guys on the Decca side actually laughed when I did the live stream with the Decatron in it because it was was it like Fire Month or something, and we had a Water and Air armor in that uh, in that month, and I was like, "What is this? Why is this here? I have no idea." And he actually laughed and said that was hilarious. He thought that was really funny. They don't care apparently that I do this, so. I mean, all I'm doing is basically showing the stuff that's going to show up in the game a little earlier than you would have seen it otherwise. So, they don't really seem to care, from what I can tell. Um, so, and they also... Um, <clears throat> I also update the wiki, which I'm actually really behind on this month, just because I've had a lot going on. Um, they actually, because of the work I do on the wiki, they reached out to me and said, hey, you know, we would like to basically ensure that the wiki stays updated and current, correct. And they offered to send me the stats each month. So I have a regular sort of rough time frame, usually just the last few days of the month before, um, where I just ask them, hey, do you have the stats ready? And if they have them ready, they send them to me. So I have the stats for all the armors. Most of the time, it's just the seasonals and the um, Boron Raid armors. <clears throat> but I've also been asking them if they can to send me the fusion armors. Um, as well, just so I don't have to ask them for it at the time, because otherwise I have to get that information from a player that gets the fusion armor. And sometimes they'll get the fusion armor and they'll they'll immediately go from the regular version to the enhanced version, and I don't and I, they don't get the set bonus. And I, without the set bonus, I can't put the sheet together. So I just I'm, it's just easier for me. And I asked them if that's okay, and they said yeah, that's fine. So they do actually send me the stats the last few months anyway of the fusion armor and the. Uh, and the seasonals and raid, of course. Actually, I'm going to shrink this one up just a little bit more. I made the last one 250. I'm making this one 250 as well. There we go. That works. And I'm still somebody's still blowing up my phone. All right, save you. This is number nine. Do I have the stats for Water Month? No, I do not. <laughs> It's too early for that. Um, they probably don't even have the stats ready themselves at this point. Given the fact that it's like, what, the 13th or something? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, 13th. It's the 13th of the month. They probably don't even have them ready themselves. Well, they might. I don't know. But they don't normally give them to me until the, the last few days of the month before at the earliest. So probably around like September 28th, 29th, 30th, somewhere in that range I should have them. But I won't have them probably any earlier than that, even if I ask. <clears throat> oh, hello and welcome, by the way. Um, the keyboard I use is actually a Microsoft wireless keyboard. It's pretty generic. <laughs> it's one of those um, sort of kind of ergonomic keyboards, but not really. It doesn't have, have like the separation of your hands like this, like a lot of those ergonomic keyboards do. Um, it's just kind of like a regular keyboard in this respect, but slightly tilted. So it does have like kind of a slightly rounded front end, but I don't. I it's the keyboard I've been using for a couple of years now. My mouse just sometimes just randomly doesn't want to work. I don't know why. Uh, but the mouse is actually it's actually a keyboard and mouse set that are both wireless, and I think it's either my mouse is just being a pain in my butt or it's um, the. Uh, the mouse pad might be a little dirty, or the batteries might be low. It's this guy right here. It's just a little Microsoft, you know, mouse. It has two side buttons, this, you know, the left and the right and the center, the usual sort of stuff. I don't use the left and right buttons. I disable them because I don't have any use for them. I don't play games that require it. I don't really play games at all, in point of fact. Um, I don't have the time. <clears throat> I have to set aside time to do the live stream with my family because... And I, I always try to do them on, on Sundays if I can, uh, because that tends to be the time when there's more people around that can help with, you know, because I have grandkids. <clears throat> and my son and my son and son in law and daughter live with me. So I always try to like plan that out ahead of time so I know that I can be alone and not get interrupted for a couple hours. Because my grandkids like to come in here and, you know, 
I shouldn't say bother me, but they like to come in and check out what I'm doing because they're curious. And so I kind of have to plan that around my son-in-law and daughter's sort of schedule to be able to do this. That'll work. That actually, like, perfect cut right across there. Damn, I'm smooth. <laughs> just kidding. That's just... Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. And that hand actually actually lines up really nicely. Just a little bit right there that needs to be cleaned up. Not too much. And then I'll get the rest of that handle, which should be a separate piece somewhere. There it is. Perfect. Awesome. Oops, I missed. Um, yeah, anyway, I have to schedule things out. Um, because I can't just do it whenever I want to do it. Not only do I have a job, but I also have the whole like you know family life thing going on besides. So that's right there that looks wrong that's it right there i had to just line it up right okay so there's our water and air and i have a sneeze coming i can feel it oh yeah try not to sneeze because it will be loud <laughs> i don't want to sneeze right in the microphone i may have to turn around and so i sneeze away from the microphone okay zooming out to about there perfect I like this over too. This is probably one of my favorite ones in this month. Of the water airs, I think I like this one the best. <laughs> Wish the sword was longer. No, I kind of like it that length, actually. But, yeah, that's just me. Where am I at here? About 295? Oh, 300. Okay. There we go. Get that kind of centered in there a little bit. That looks good. Armor 10. Only two armors left. Perfect, okay. And back out to here. Now I have the last two, which are both, coincidentally, Water Earth. <laughs> okay, so number 11, number 12. Okay, got it. So this one, I like the look of this one, don't get me wrong. I just like the other one better. This one looks like a fish. Which, Water and Earth, you know, that's fine. Just not as big of a fan of this one as I am the other one. Recently watching Minecraft get an upgrade with RTX graphics. Can you imagine Candy with a vi getting a visual revamp? That would be cool. Um, I would th I, I would like that, actually. It's not likely to happen, really. But, I mean, they could redo just the you know the visuals themselves. That wouldn't be difficult to do. Because it is literally just loading up images into the game. Um, but some of it they probably can't really touch. Because it's just kind of the core code. They can't really mess with it if they, don't want, if they want to keep the game stable. Um... 3D armors, yeah. These are kind of 3D in a fashion because they do have like the back armor on the you know that's attached to the chest right here, and then they have the forward-facing armor, which is out in the front, which and they do and move independently of each other. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how much they could really do in that respect. Honestly, I wish I knew a bit more about programming because then I could actually you know help in some way. I don't know how much help I'd be, but or how much help they even want necessarily, but. At least if they offered, or if, if I offered and said, hey, I can I can at least do this for you or do that for you, they could at least say, okay, yeah, that's something we need help with, and I can help them out. But they have their own QA team. They have their own people that test things. But I don't know. Um, if I knew more about programming, I should say I'd probably be a lot more helpful in that respect. Just because then I could actually say, oh, I found that, I found this, you know, I, I did the testing and I, I checked the code and this was the reason why that was happening or whatever. But I have no, I have no like even basis of reference when it comes to programming. I mean, I know basic stuff like HTML and stuff like that, but I'm nowhere near what they would probably need. <laughs> this is a tiny shield. Holy crap, that's tiny. Um, I don't have anywhere near the experience that would be necessary to be able to really even be useful, I think, at this point. As much as I would like it, I just don't have enough knowledge in that respect to be able to even try to help. I'd just be looking at it and going, I don't even know what any of this does. <laughs> What's this supposed to do? <laughs> I'd be useless, I think, for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny shield. Which is weird, because water and earth armors tend to be really evenly balanced in respect to stats. Um, they tend to have really evenly balanced um, attack and defense. And decent to good HP. Oh, that looks weird to me. Eh, that'll work. 
It looks funky, but it'll work. Um, so water and earth are, as far as like element combinations, are one of the more useful of the off-element armors. Water and spirit generally are pretty tanky too, but they're not really as useful. Um, except during Earth Month, when you have like the Earth and Water sort of raids, they're really useful for that. But Spirit and Spirit would be better, obviously. So, anyways, we have 250. This one's taller than it is wide. Huh, that doesn't happen a lot. Yeah, that doesn't happen a whole lot. It's largely because this, this shield is so tiny. By comparison to some of the other ones. Okay, and last but not least, my favorite, probably my second favorite armor. This one is, I like the look of this armor a lot. It looks very water and earth, kind of golden in that, in the kind of, but it still has a very earth feel to it with the water sort of effects that added on. Or I should say water with earth effects added on, because that's what it should be. Um, I do like the look of this armor, though, in general. I like the kind of the, the flares of these, like, they look almost like feathers, but I don't think they're intended to be like blades almost that come off the, off the top of the head there and off the uh, off the pauldron right here you can kind of see poking out from the side of the head there we go my favorite of this month is the dual water exclusive most likely this is probably my second favorite and it's a close second and then my third is probably the the reskin of the um, the dual fire exclusive I, th I think it's season 37 is where that one was it was the second or third dual fire exclusive. I think it was the second. I could be wrong. Looks more like gladiator. Yeah, it's it looks like a kind of like a regular like knight's armor that a knight would actually be able to wear. I like those armors though. Um, I like armors that look like actual knight armors, like from you know the medieval era when people actually wore armor. Not as common, of course, nowadays. People still do. It's kind of taken on its own different, you know, aspect to things now. It's, it's not really armor anymore. It's more like Kevlar vests and stuff like that. But it's still an armor of, of, of sorts, I should say. There's that one. I just like the look of this because I like the flares coming off the sides and the shoulders and the arms and the bottoms of the leg covers. I like it. It's a cool looking armor. The shield on this one is also really, really tiny. But it kind of fits with the armor better, I think, being that small. Put you right about here. And the weapon. This is also kind of like, a, looks like a sword. You know, it's got these flares off the sides of it, but it looks like a sword. Like a regular sort of weapon. I like the ones that have, like, armors that look like actual arm knights would actually wear and the weapons that look like normal weapons. Like, I even like some of the some of the axe weapons and some of the hammers. They look like, that you know, someone could actually use them. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Yes, I did. Uh, the Water and Water was, one of, was the fourth armor in the files. But you'll be seeing it in just a second when I start assembling the sheet. Because I am just about to that point now. I'm just actually going to finish this one up and then I'll start getting it ready that right about there. Here we go. There's that one. This is the last. Yep. This is armor number 12 of 12. So we're going to get this resized really fast. <laughs> yeah, it's it's I've actually tried it myself. It's it's not that complicated, but it doesn't always look really really that great depending on kind of the approach. 262. This one's close to being square as well. A little bit wider than it is tall, but not much. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close to square. Okay, armor 12 done. Whoops, I named that one wrong. But that's okay. I can fix it in a second. Okay. So now did I get everything already moved? I think I did. Let's double check. Okay, let me open these up really fast. We got amulet, head, armor, ring. Amulet, head, armor, ring. Amulet, head, armor, ring. Etc. 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 There's the exclusive right there. So you can look at it really quick. Yeah, no problem. Alright. There's the 
Fusion, most likely. Event Armor, Golden. Water Spirit, probably War. Water Spirit, probably Seasonal. Re event Armor, non-Golden. Looks like a Pirate. Hey, Ice-T, welcome. Um, water and Air, that's probably going to be a Seasonal. Um, water and Earth, that's probably War. Water and Earth, probably Seasonal. Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, all right. Here we go. Let me go back to my other folder here. Give me just a second to double check because I have um, one of my recent ones, which was this one. This one is this one is also six wide, and that's the change they made. This was the original one, and that was the update. So this was the original one. They had a, an Earth and Spirit. This was actually a reskin as well. That's a reskin, which was people were not happy about that because that's the undersea bishop. And then they replaced it with this one, which was new. And then they replaced that with that one, which was also new. So I want to look at the size of this image here. Just so I can kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. So that one is 1,600 wide. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, let me close you and do a new one. 1,600 by... Let's do 1,200. That should be good, I think. Oops. No. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go into here. We're going to draw ourselves some boxes from about the 350 range down to about the 700 range. Right about there. Good, good. Okay. Now we'll go to here. Why is my computer lagging? Is, my, is the audio and video still pretty consistent? Is it freaking out or anything? <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> um... I don't drink iced tea, so I don't know. I'm not really, not really uh, into it. I guess you could say <laughs> I don't really drink iced tea. I drink water and coffee and beer. That's about it. That's honestly all I drink is water and coffee. Like during the day, it's just water. I don't really drink anything else. I have the occasional soda, like maybe once or twice, once or twice every other week. What did you guys? What you guys did at one and a half hours, see nothing on the screen. No, we're still here. <laughs> okay, anyway, let me get back to here. Uh, to the armors. Okay, so we're going to grab our water and air first. Drop that down, make sure it goes over. Yes, it does. Perfect. You see nothing on the screen. Huh. Weird. Huh. Adding armors to the sheet. Yeah, I'm doing the sheet right now. Weird. I don't know why you're not seeing anything. Most everybody else, I think, still is. Uh, there's that one right about there. Got to back that off just a little. Stop it, computer. My computer is lagging pretty hard right now, so it may just be a little bit of a delay. I've, I've noticed that I need to probably upgrade um, my streaming computer specifically, because I'm using an, actually an old laptop. Um, that I used to use for work years ago that I just kind of inherited from that job. Um, just because it works. It does a decent job, so. Yeah, reload. Yeah, maybe that might be a good good option. That's a really wide armor. Holy crap. I may have to move that one. I may have to move, actually, both of these. These are really wide. A lot wider than I was thinking they were going. Oops, I missed. <laughs> try that again. Uh, I'm going to try to move this guy in. Try to move these over both just a little bit closer to the ones next to them because that one is just humongous. This exclusive, this weapon is so big. So kind of move them in a little closer so I actually have room on this thing for all the other armors. That looks pretty good right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm almost done. I'm getting there. It's going to take a bit, but I'm not done soon. I'm not done yet. I may have to make this thing wider. These armors are so wide. I'm gonna have to make it wider. These, this, these, this top row is just the armors are so huge. The bottom row is tiny by comparison. I'm gonna have to make it bigger. Let's resize the whole thing. We're gonna make this 1700. Let's try that out and see how that works. I'll go back to here, and I'm going to delete all of this as well, just to be sure. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it bigger. This is gonna be the widest I've done in a long time. And that one, of course, is tiny. <laughs> I probably didn't need to do that, but that's okay. I'm doing it anyway. I can always adjust it later. Okay, this is going to go right about there. Move you over just a hair. Actually, that works out quite well. I'm probably not going to have to change it that much. Uh, 
guys are talking about peach teas and armor stats. <laughs> All right. So then we have the reskin of the seasons. I, I actually, I'm pretty sure it's season 37. This one here. It's the season fire, the season 37 dual fire exclusive. Um, this one's new. This is an entirely new one. Both water spirits right next to each other. Coincidentally. And then we have the non-golden water and fire. And I do put these in the order they come out in the files, just because it's the way I've always done it. I just don't see a need to change it. Other people will put them in a specific order, like they'll put the elements with each other. Like I think Legion will put the elements kind of side by side with each other more often than not, but that's just a preference. I like doing it this way better. Where am I at? I still got a little more room, right? Until about oh, a little bit too far. There we go. Trying to line these up sort of and also kind of get them bunched together so they kind of all line up somewhat. And this one is also kind of small, but I'm going to try to line it up with the one above it, sort of. Oh, I forgot I, I renamed that one wrong. Let me fix it. <laughs> I want to, It's going to bug me if I don't, so I'll just do it now. Okay, and then we have the water and earth, which, again, coincidentally, the water and earth are side by side also. So this actually doesn't need to be quite that wide. I think I'll shorten it to... 1650, or maybe I'll just leave it. It doesn't look bad that way. Okay, now we're going to do new layer. Ring and amulet sets. Actually, let me grab the ring first. Okay, so I can put this right over the top, and it doesn't cover it. That's why I do that. Make another layer with rings and amulets and all the, re all the rest of the miscellaneous stuff in it. Okay. Go right about there. This can go right about... there. Wait a minute, what? I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Come on, you dumb thing. My computer is lagging pretty severely right now. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. I'm just trying to alt-tab between windows, and my computer's like, no, I don't want to do that. You're going to have to wait. For whatever silly reason. It's being problematic. I have to, apparently I have to alt-tab slower. <laughs> that seemed to have worked much better than the last time. That about right there. And that right about there. Amulet for the exclusive, which looks just like the shield. Surprise, surprise. It's actually not abnormal at all. It happens all the time. <coughs> I'm being facetious. Okay. And now we have the amulet for what I believe to be the fusion armor. I'm pretty sure it is, anyway. It's the most likely explanation. Because <clears throat> the fusion armors um, for next month are going to be, we think, um, spirit earth is the off element one, and then water, and then water fire is the other, is the on element one. <coughs> <coughs> Fire Lord's Raiment. There you go. Yeah, I knew it was season 37. I just couldn't think of the name. Um, that's actually pretty common. Um, when they put up that kind of that, that star metal, like the five armors that make that circle, when they did it for the first armor, the Ultimate Primus, um, they were all different heads of different armors that had been used long, long time before then. So they're just placeholders. Yeah, like, like it was said, they're just placeholders. The first round, I think they had like they had like an old seasonal, um, or sorry, excuse me, an old raid boss armor as one of the heads, which is, of course it's not, but that's just what they use as the placeholder. <clears throat> Oops, no, I need this one. I got copying the wrong window. Um, so this is going to go right about here, and ring and go. Here. Yeah, Fire Lord's Raymond. I think it was the second or third dual fire exclusive. I think second. I could be wrong, though. Whoops. Ha <laughs> ha! Wrong thing. Wrong thing entirely. Let's try that again, this time with less failure. Right about there. And right about there. Ta da. Uh, we got the water and fire non-golden. 
regular version, if you will. Uh, yeah, the dual, the new dual star metal, the new ultimate armor will be coming out in October. Well, sometime in October anyway. <clears throat> I don't know exactly when, but it'll be sometime in October. Once people are actually able to get the uh, the dual water exclusive, or or shortly afterwards, um, is when they will most likely be putting it up in the uh, the boss collection menu for you to for you to get it and go redeem it. And I believe they also, <coughs> excuse me, they also fixed the redemption thing, so you can't rede redeem more than one. That was a bug in the first iteration of that, where players were getting two ultimate armors and even three. I heard on a couple of occasions, um, and that's really, really against the rules. They should not have been doing that. Sorry, I'm grabbing something off the floor. I dropped. Um, sorry, that was probably kind of loud. Um, but yeah, it should be sometime in October. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of balanced. Um, the one thing that most people complained about initially was that because it doesn't get any elemental bonuses from being in a guild, like the guild element bonuses that you normally would get, um, they said it was too weak. And so, you know, Deca looked it over and like, well, yeah, it probably is. Because of that, it's basically losing 20% of its stats because it doesn't get the element bonuses. Um... No, I, I actually had it sitting next to my foot and I knocked it over. I was just picking it up. <laughs> and so they ended up, like I was saying, they ended up bumping the stats up slightly. Um, they ended up bumping up the stats slightly because it was a little bit weaker than they really had intended. And then when they added all the additional ascension levels to it when they finally got up to 20, it made it stupidly overpowered because it stuns everything. There's no, you know, issues with element, you know, element variation. You can't, like, use a different element combination to counter it. It's just, if you don't have an ultimate, you pretty much have to have exclusives to be able to defeat it. Well, the thing about Star Metal Armors is they're really designed for Guild Wars and um, Arena. They weren't really designed for raids. They work a lot better, it works a lot better than it should have because it's dual Star Metal. I think originally it was intended to be just mono Star Metal, but because it's dual... It's, it has dual advantage on everything. So that's the reason why it was really designed more for Wars and, and arena, arena. But it does actually work quite well um, with with raids. So sorry, I keep looking over here because that's where my chat window is. Which, by the way, looks like that. <laughs> for those of you who can see it. Um, I just keep it on the other window so it's not in my way while I'm working on this. I may end up eventually adding in um, some kind of more customization and OBS for this so that I can actually have the chat window in here somewhere, and this will be kind of a smaller window within it. I just haven't done it yet. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, the, the buff was earlier than intended. Um, earlier than planned, I should say. Uh, we actually did ask them in this Aegis chat what, what was the deal with that, because um, it was much earlier than it was originally intended to be. Um, and they said, well, we originally had planned on doing it later, too. They were actually planning on doing it, I think, next month sometime, something like that. Um, but because they de they determined that the previous buff just wasn't quite enough, um, so they they ended up doing it that They ended up doing it earlier than they planned. So that was the reason why it happened. They did it earlier than they intended to because the last one just wasn't quite enough. I'm going to have to make this text bigger. I made it too small. Let me bump that up to 28. That's still even too small. Let's go to 36. Why not? Yeah, there we go. That's better. And I'm going to let me see if I can get that centered. It looks a little off to me. Where are we at here? We're at 1,500. Oh, yeah, I'm off by a little ways. Right about there looks good. It still seems off to me, though. It's like it's too far to the left now. Probably because the armors are screwing up screwing up what I'm saying here. Okay. So that's... Yeah, that looks good right there. Okay, so now I'm going to see if I can figure out which of these materials is the right one. Because I know this one right here definitely looks like it belongs as a seasonal material. At least it looks like it to me. Um, I don't know which one's exclusive versus regular seasonal material, but... I'm just going to assume, without any knowledge otherwise, that these are the two materials. 
<clears throat> I don't know for sure because I can't say, you know, I, I'm not, I don't have any information on this as yet. But these are, I'm going to say, are the seasonal materials. I'm not sure though. And I'm going to put the other materials down below somewhere down here. But now we can move on to the pets. Oh, actually, something I almost forgot to do. Hang on. Hang on. Before we move on any further, I need to resize this. Oops, not that one. Resize. Oops. <laughs> not even close. Derp. Okay. I need to clean all of this up. Go over here and delete all that. Move him down here because I need. Oh, this is probably way too big, but that's okay. I'd rather have it to be too big than not big enough. Okay, now I need to get the cape. Stop it, you dumb thing. Edit. Thank you. Oh, that's not, not the right one. Getting ahead of myself. That's the one I wanted right there. So there's usually two looks to the cape, and this one it's not as obvious, but there's one where you're in battle, which is this one, versus the one where you're standing still, which is this one. So this is the uh, this is the cape that I'm going to be using. Is this one here on the on the on the right side because it's the one where you're just standing still before you actually go into battle, because this armor is also the same. So I'm going to put this behind it, and I'm going to put it right about. It's it looks weird, small. It actually matches up to the armor quite nicely though. That's it. That's what it looks like. <laughs> you can't really even see it behind that armor. I mean, you get a little bit of this down here and that down there, and a little bit of flares coming off the back of it, but that is it right there. That's it. Okay, so now let's zoom out. I don't even have to resize this thing much. Let's actually, whoops, I did not want to do that. What is going on here? I made too many layers. I don't know why I did that. There we go. Got to kind of line it up again. Right about there. Okay. You can't even really see it <laughs> all that much behind this. Let me zoom back out here. Put that right about there. And well, how wide are we? It's basically the exact same size. It is. It's the exact same size. Which is pretty nor abnormal because most of the time the capes make the armor a little bit bigger than it would have been. So let me save this as that with cape. There we go. Now I'm going to resize it because I need to make it smaller to fit on the sheet. Let's do 200. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to do this one. There we go. Save that. Okay. Close and close. Okay. Now we're going to do this. Do the pets now. Really quick first. I can get rid of that folder. I didn't mean to create it anyway. Tier 1. Okay. Tier 1 pet. And tier two pet. Come on, computer. Stop lagging on me so hard. Got to zoom in and see if I can get these guys lined up. Because this is this is sometimes the hardest part of getting these this done is the pets just don't line up every time. So I have to do that. Get these to line up. I have to zoom in a bit. And it, my computer's lagging hard again. It gets close to the two-hour mark and it starts to really, really lag. I don't know why. There we go. And four... Right about there, okay. My granddaughter is now freaking out in the hallway because she wanted to come in apparently and because the door is locked, she can't. And she apparently did not like that. <laughs> She's not happy about that for some reason. Okay, there's the pets. Get that kind of there. There we go. And let's get another text box here. Right about there, roughly should work. And now we're going to go here and we're going to go pets. Oop. What? Can't even type today. <laughs> My brain is not working very well today. Okay, I'm actually going to shorten this up just a hair. Does not need to be quite that big. And I'm also going to shorten up the side just a little. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's our pets. And I'm going to try to center this directly below them a little bit better. Right about here. 
Okay, now, boss time. Boss number one is going to go right about here. And I'm going to zoom in on this too because I want to get these kind of lined up with each other as well. I know it's super exciting. <laughs> this part of the this part of the live stream is is probably not the most favorite part because it's kind of a little boring to watch me just moving stuff around on the screen. <clears throat> but I want to get that kind of centered. There we go, and move it down just a hair. There we go. The first pet doesn't look that vicious, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so there's our bosses. I do another text box right here below. Right about that big. I'm gonna have to move that, of course, but just so I have it where I kind of need it to be. And then I'll move the box over just a hair to kind of get it centered between them. Like so. I'm just sorry, I'm reading the, the chat's going crazy. <laughs> well, not crazy, but it's busy busy at the moment. <clears throat> Got a drink in PA. <laughs> okay. There's that. Now I'm going to put the cape in right over here. Cape image right about here. And then I will grab the exclusive armor with the cape on it. Put it right about here yeah a little bit a little bit higher can be higher yeah that'll work and then I can do another box right about here and it is a tiny cape so it kind of almost gets just covered up by the armor <coughs> but that's okay there's that Okay, now let me quickly save this before I move on. So this is 2020-10. So October of 2020. Yes, the it is really the water water. Yep. Um, okay, so let's see. So let me, let me give estimates for those of you who might need to drop off because this has been going for just over two hours now. Um, even though you probably didn't join in until a couple of minutes in. <coughs> um, i got to add elements to these two. But, so the first one's water, air. That's most likely going to be... Um, uh, I'm going to guess probably a war. I'm not sure, because I think there's three wars in October. So this is probably going to be a war. This is raid. This is raid. So this is water, fire, water, air. Dual water exclusive. Water, fire, fusion. Water, fire, event. Water, fire, event down here, the third one. Then we have most likely a war, seasonal. So this is water spirit, water spirit. Then we have water air, which is seasonal. Um, and then we have water earth and water earth. So this is probably war and probably seasonal. That's my guesses at this point. So one more time, war, raid, raid, exclusive, fusion, event, uh, war, seasonal, event, seasonal, war, seasonal. So that's what I'm thinking it probably is. Uh, yes, the dual water. That is definitely the it is definitely the exclusive because it's the only dual water in the files. Whoops, I'm on the wrong screen. Wrong screen. That one's what I wanted. Okay, grabbing my elements here really quick before I move on. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Stop that. Okay. I'm gonna zoom in here. Kind of put that right there. Put it right up near the feet. Then we have this one over here as well. It's too close to the feet, though. There we go. And then this one over here. Right about there. Now we'll do Earth, which is down here in the corner. These two dudes. Right about there. And right about there. There we go. And now we have fire, and we have a bunch of those. We have the dual fire, or the the the, the dual fire. The um, event armor, the one right next to it, which is most likely the fusion armor. 
Then we have this one down here, which is the other event armor. Right about there. And then we have the raid armor, which is right here. So there's four water fires. But two of them are event armor, so <clears throat> it isn't quite the same number as usual. Water spirit. <clears throat> right about there. And right about there. Try to get these same the rough same spacing between all of them. <clears throat> and now water. Do these kind of in groups together. Makes it a little bit easier. Because I can line them up a little bit more consistently when I'm zoomed in like this. Like about like that. Now we have water and water for this puppy here, because that's the exclusive. Like about like so. There's exactly 12, so I can do four at a time. <laughs> These two here, the two below. These two here, the two below. Etc. Etc. Rinse and repeat until done. Okay. That's that one. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat right now. I saw somebody saying, oh no, that's, that can't be the right one. It is the right one. I assure you it is. The element uh, particle effects on the armors are a dead giveaway. And there's that one. Okay, so there we are. There's the armors and all their elements all done. <coughs> Let me save that again really quick before I move on. <laughs> no, actually, they've done that to me before. They've actually added armors that are like a week before the end of the month. And I actually continually check until probably the last maybe three days of the month, right around the time frame I would be getting the stats usually. I'll just check and see if there's anything new. And there have been occasions when I've gotten new stuff. So it's not common, but it does happen. Okay, where are we at here? Right about there. And I'm going to put this one right about the same spot. Right about there. Over just a hair. There we go. And the left hand one is air. Get that right about there. And on the last month, I realized somebody pointed it out to me after the fact that my initial sheet did not have the elements next to the bosses. So I made sure I did that before I moved on. Because <laughs> I've. I do sometimes do that. I'll forget little things when I'm trying to finish things up, trying to get the stream done. And I'll go, oh, wait, crap, I forgot that. Or, oh, I forgot this, too. Um, <clears throat> but let me put the other um, the other materials down here somewhere. I may actually end up moving that armor up so that it's a little bit gives me a little bit more room. Actually, it's not really even getting in the way. Yeah, oh, I'll move it anyway, just a little bit, not much. So it's a little bit more out of the way. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> now, I need to go to my other folder. Nope, that's not it. That's not the folder I wanted. There we go. <clears throat> so now we have... I'm just going to rename these just so I have them separately named. Because <clears throat> I know for sure, or at least pretty sure, that that one's one of them. And I'm going to say this one's the other one. But I'm not positive on the second material. The other three, I don't know what they're for. I'm assuming they're for the event, but I keep alt-tabbing the wrong window. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to put these down below here somewhere. I may end up moving them around a bit, but I want to just kind of get them placed on here so I can see what I'm working with. There we go. That actually kind of fits in there nicely. And I'm going to put something probably below it. Let me move these just a little bit. A little bit up closer to that. Or do I want to put them in right? I might actually no. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let's undo that. I'm going to move these actually. I'm going to put them up here next to the bosses. Kind of stack them on top of each other and put the my little box down below them. 
I think that'll actually look a little bit better, line up a little bit better. It's not really a huge difference, but I like the look of it a little bit better. But I want to kind of shorten up the bottom end of this. That's not really working out well either. Crap. Okay. I'm going to delete these <laughs> and start over. Because I did not do that the way I wanted to. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to grab material number one. I'm actually going to make a little triangle out of them, I think. Because <clears throat> I kind of want to clean up this bottom edge. I don't want this to be quite as big as it is. As, I should say as tall as it is, top to bottom. I want to make it a little shorter. So I'm going to try to get these kind of squished in here at the bottom end right below the other like so it's kind of like that sort of I just don't want them overlapping each other and then I can put like event over here to the right side of it okay I made that box way too big like about like that there we go okay and I'm going to put event on the right side, and I'm going to make myself a little arrow that points that direction. Okay. I need an arrow. Arrow, arrow, arrow. There we are. So I'm going to make this like that. And I'm going to rotate it. Whoop, not move it. Rotate it. There we go. Like about like that. That arrow is too big. <laughs> Crap. Let me zoom in here a little bit so I can shrink this a little. Is that going to work? It's still too big. There we go. That should do it. That way people know, like, this is event. This is event stuff. <laughs> That's not really ideal. I don't really like that, but... Yeah, no problem. Thanks for joining. Um... <clears throat> Uh, Halloween event? It might be. I don't know. Welcome, Gax, by the way. I didn't see you online earlier. Um, so, yeah, that's let me, let me actually position both of those in there because I need to kind of move this over so it's a little bit more centered. It's going to mess up the text on the side, I know, but it'll work for now. Okay, and there we go. Okay, let me save this again really quick. And I'm now going to make a new layer, throw it in the background... And I'm going to fill in the black, fill in the gaps. Come on. And I'm going to shorten this up to 1150. Actually, should work nicely. Bam. Here we go. All right. So now I just need to add my text in, and we should be basically done. <clears throat> so one more time for anyone who didn't see it before. Um, we have war, most likely. Um, raid, raid, exclusive, fusion, event, war, seasonal uh, event um seasonal war seasonal that's what my estimate that's what my predictions are at this point bosses don't seem water related uh well yeah they don't really um this one is water and fire this one is water and air actually i need to move that i just looking at it now that right there is a little too far out I need to move it in just a little bit more looked when i zoomed out it looked a little off that looks better Okay, so let me get my text here. I need to change my size down to about a 24. And I need to center you. And this one is first row, third armor. First row, whoops, I'm on the wrong thing here. I have to have something selected. There we go. First row, third armor. Actually, I can go up on the size of that text if I need to. Is that gonna be too big? No, actually, it's perfect. Okay, good. And this one is first row, second armor. And let me add that space in there. Kind of get that centered-ish roughly there. Yeah, that needs to go up just a titch. There we go. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but good enough. <laughs> good enough for government work. All right, so now we're going to switch to my other text here, which is that one. And we're going to go to here, and I need to put in here, first of all, season 51. Let me, actually, let me double check my, my previous ones because I don't want to mess myself up. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to be sure. <clears throat> okay, so season 51. Water. Put 
that right about there. Now I'm going to get this. Make it a little glowy so it kind of grabs your attention. Okay, and now I'm going to take this and go to the right. And I'm going to drop this down to 26. Zoom in a bit. Data mine. I hate when my this application does this. It drives me nuts. I don't know why it does this. Um, October 2020. I may have to move this. Crap. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Not ideal, but it'll work. All right. Right about there. And that's it. Done. So, um, I don't think I need to do the rehashing of the my predictions, but that's basically it. So we are done for this month. Um, I will have this up on CandyBot and shared in chats and probably on Discord in the next five to ten minutes. Something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here um, before we before we shut off for the day or for this month. Uh, if anyone does feel inclined to do so, there is a donation box directly below the viewing window, right down about there somewhere. Um, if you feel so inclined, it's not required, of course. I do this in my free time. Um, yeah, no problem, Doc. Well, thanks for thanks for joining in. Um, but uh, yeah, if you feel so inclined, go ahead. Um, I do this. You know, I have a job. I have um, you know, I have an income already. But extra money is, of course, something I wouldn't complain about getting. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks everyone for joining, and uh, see you in roughly about the next four weeks. Thanks, guys.